All right, guys, so now we're going to start with uh, page 41. We're going to start with page 41, and that's for intermediate level, and we're doing workbook practice. Um, English file, obviously. So we're going to do with exercise C. Look at the picture. Okay, we've got a picture here. And write the predictions with the words in brackets and will and won't. Again, so we're going to practice will and won't. So let's have a look at this picture. Your future is in your hands. Okay, your future is in your hands. So for more information, this type of activity is called palmistry, guys. Palm, so we're gonna write a palm here, right? Because this part is palm, we call it. This is palm. All of it, hands. And this part is palm. And you know, fortune tellers, they try to predict the future looking at your palm. This kind of practice, we say palmistry. All right, palmistry. I mean, I don't believe in it, but you know, it's just uh, you know, for the sake of learning language. If, if you believe it, I mean, it's your choice. But I don't believe in it. Now, anyway, uh, for the sake of language, we're gonna do that. So your future is in your hands. Um. Okay. So we got we got heart. So this line, this line, is hard. And this line is health, and that line here that is success, and we got here head, and then this one is fate. Fate it means you know destiny, something you know spiritually or religiously they say something is written uh, in your forehead, uh, so your future is written. This is we call it fate. And that one is life. Okay. So now we knew it. So we're gonna just, you know, get the interpretation uh, of these lines. Interpretation of these lines. All right. So line of heart. It means a long, strong, and unbroken line means your relationships will be happy. Okay. Line of health. A long strong and unbroken line means you'll be healthy line of success a long strong and unbroken line means you will have a lot of money oh, i like that um, line of fate if you got a long strong and unbroken line that means your job will be important to you and you'll have a job for a long time right line of life and if that line is long, strong, and unbroken, that means I'll or you will live for a long time. And line of head, uh, and obviously that line, if it's long, strong, and unbroken, that means you will be clever and like learning. You will like learning. Okay, great. Now, so looking at you know this interpretations, we're gonna do this exercise. The first one has been done for us. So your line of heart shows that you have, you will have a long and happy marriage. So we've got you and have, then we need to use will or won't, and obviously because that's a positive. So we're going to go for you will have a long and happy marriage. Okay, number two. Now we're going to do number two. We've got here your line of health is unbroken. That means you have a healthy life. So going to go for you'll have right so we say contraction you'll have you'll have a healthy life okay so that's you will have a healthy life you'll have a healthy life now number three this line of success isn't very strong so you not be rich so negative so you won't be very rich okay we're gonna write down you won't be very rich okay you won't be very rich number four your line of fate shows that you again you and the not always have so that's the negative so you won't always have the same job so we're gonna write it down you you won't have 
you won't always have the same job. So you won't always have the same job. Number five, your line of life is quite strong. So this is a positive. You have a long life. So you'll, you'll. So apostrophe double L, apostrophe double L. You'll have a long life. You'll have a long life. Number six, you have a strong line of head. Uh, you enjoy learning new things. So you will, you will, or you will enjoy learning new things. So we're going to make apostrophe L. You will enjoy learning new things. You will enjoy learning new things. So that's done. And we're moving to exercise D. Right, exercise D is asking us to look at the lines on your own hand, okay, whatever, and write predictions about your future. Use the information in C and will and won't. Okay, well, I mean, you can just do whatever. As long as you practice will and won't, that's what we are after, guys. So, I will be very successful. So, I'll be very successful. Another example of I will live a long life. So apostrophe double L. So I'll live a long life. I'll live a long life. And so we can have okay, line of success. I'll have a lot of money. I'll have a lot of money. Why not? I will have a lot of children. I will have a very healthy life or I'll have a very healthy life. I won't I won't get sick a lot. I'll stay fit for quite a long time. So we can say I will or we can also use I'll a past you know contracted form so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's better to use contracted form because you know English people they use contracted form of will a lot when they speak so it's better to stick to it but I'm just writing for the sake of learning. I'll stay fit for quite a long time. And what else? Uh, I'll have a lot of friends. I'll have a lot of friends. I won't have big issues in my life. For example, yeah. So you can just write in any way you like, just for the sake of learning, improving your writing, yeah. Now we're going to move to pronunciation. Pronunciation, as you can see here, uh, 6.1 is asking us to listen and write six sentences so i'm gonna play the audio okay so let's see how it goes so the first one is done i learn a lot 6.1 6 a pronunciation a one i'll learn a lot i'll learn a lot okay so number two two he'll meet somebody new He'll meet somebody new. You would like to listen to it one more time? I can play. He'll meet somebody new. Okay, so we're going to write it down. He'll meet, he'll meet somebody new. That's it. Okay, number three. Three. You'll have a good time. You'll have a good time. You'll have a good time. Okay, we're going to write it down. So you, apostrophe, double L. You'll have a good time. You'll have a good time. You'll have a good time. Number four. Four. She won't get the job. She won't get the job. She won't get the job. Okay. Five. They won't lend you the money. They won't lend you the money. They won't lend you the money. Okay, so they won't lend the money. They won't lend you the money. Okay, number six. Six. We won't arrive on time. We won't arrive on time. Okay, we won't arrive on time. That's good. Now we're going to, uh, B is asking us to listen again and repeat. I mean, you can 
can you can you can you know you can repeat the you know video yourself so we're going to move to c c is asking us to listen to 6.2 so listen to the sentences and circle the word you hear which one you know number one for example is done so want so want it means like i want something want and won't so there's slight difference in pronunciation between want so the w a n t you need something you want something right this is want and this one is slightly different they say won't look want won't so here there is a little bit wh in the pronunciation i won't i won't and the first one is want huh? so number one is want number two is won't want won't i won't okay so we're going to listen and then see if we can feel the difference right i'm going to play 6.2 now 6.2 6a pronunciation c one what do you want to do so what do you want to do what do you want to do so the first one is want two i won't be here tomorrow i won't be here tomorrow i won't i won't be here tomorrow okay so it's one three i won't go to the party i won't go to the party I won't go to the party. I won't. Okay. Four. I want to go to the party. I want to. I want to go. I want to go to the party. Mm -hmm. Five. It won't be very warm. It won't be very warm. It won't be. Okay. Six. Do you want to come with me? Do you want to come with me? So one is the first one. And another trick, if you would like to uh, write it down or you know know it, after one, the first one we use uh, two most of the time. Like if I want to, because after want, the first one, uh, we use verbs. Like I want to go, I want to eat, I want to buy, I want to sleep. But sometimes we use noun. I want it. I want him. I want a car. I want water. We can also use noun. But in case we use verb after want, we use to. So this is another way of uh, differentiating between want and won't. Okay, guys. So we're going to listen to it one more time. So D, exercise D is asking us to listen again and repeat the sentences. Well, okay, I'll do that for you. Why not? 6.2 6A Pronunciation C 1 what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Two. I won't be here tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow. Three. I won't go to the party. I won't go to the party. Four. I want to go to the party. I want to go to the party. Five. It won't be very warm. It won't be very warm. Six. Do you want to come with me? Do you want to come with me? Okay, so you can also practice. Uh, just, you know, imitate and follow the audio. And that is going to help you to improve your pronunciation and speaking, guys. And that's it. So the next page is obviously 40, 42, 6B. And obviously, we're going to do it in the next video, guys. So that's enough for now. Thanks for your time. And I'll see you in the next videos, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.